What up everybody? Back again here with our negative number unit. Today we're looking at negative numbers in real life part two. If you love money, you'll love today's lesson. So let's dive under the water and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to represent positive and negative numbers in real world context and explain the meaning of zero in each situation. So our objective for this lesson is the exact same as part one right? Because we split into two parts. We don't want to put it all in one lesson because it would have taken too long and you all would have fallen asleep, right? But today we are going to be talking about money. So let's check out our math vocabulary. So here, when we talk about money, we're going to be talking about bank accounts. This is one of the real life examples they love to use in negative number word problems. So here we have credit or deposit, and that is when you are adding money to your bank account. You go and give a credit to your bank account or you go and deposit money into your bank account, that's going to be referring to a positive transaction. Or we have debit or withdrawal and that's taking money away from a bank account, right? And that's going to be a negative transaction. So when you see deposit or credit or put money into it, we're going to be thinking about a positive transaction and we think about debit or withdrawing, taking money out, writing a check for someone and money leaving, we're going to think about those as negative transactions. So let's take a look at a bank account. So here we have a number line that typically would represent a bank account, right? Typically for bank accounts, we're gonna do it with the horizontal number line, not the vertical number line. And zero can mean a lot of different things depending on the question, but because this is an introduction, we're going to just do the basic. We're thinking of zero as having zero dollars, okay? And so if you made a credit of $10, you could represent that with a positive 10. If you made a withdrawal of $10 from your bank account, then you had zero dollars, right? You could be taking away 10. So over here to, in today's lesson, we're thinking about our debits as being a negative transaction and a credit as being a positive transaction. Now in our I do problem, we're going to be thinking about zero as the original balance of an account. So what integer represents a credit of 25? What integer represents a debit of 30? We're going to place the answers on the number line. So you came in. Now zero for this question doesn't necessarily represent zero dollars. It represents how much money you had when you came into the bank. So let's say you went into the bank and you had $1,000 in your bank account. That would be the original balance of the bank account. Okay, this is where you're starting. If you added a credit of 25, that would be a positive 25 because you're going to be adding money to the account. And so you would do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and you would mark that as a positive 25. Remember, I don't need to write a positive sign by my 25 because if it's not negative, we make the inference that it is positive, okay? So our keyword here was credit. What integer represents a debit of 30? So now I wanna go into my bank account and I wanna take away $30 from it. And so of course that would be a negative 30 because you're going to be taking away money from it. And so it'd be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I would place negative 30 on that number line, okay? Now again, this is kind of the key thing. Zero doesn't necessarily represent zero dollars. I'm not saying that I have negative $30 in my bank account. What I'm saying in this question is, I started with some money and then I took away 30. So if you got to higher level thinking, let's say you started with $1,000, okay? Well, on my number line, negative 30 would mean if I took away 30, I would now have 970. If I added 25 to it and gave it and deposited $25 in my bank account, this 25 would actually represent 1,025. The negative 30 and the positive 25 is just the transaction that you did. So as you get more into these types of questions, sometimes your number line will represent different things. You have to be able to read through the question and understand. That's why we're trying to give you the background knowledge in part one and part two of integers in real life. Let's take a look at our we do problem. So for our we do problem, we're gonna do this together. You can write it down in your notes. If you don't have it, you can check the description for the video and you'll find a link to some notes there that you can either print off or make a copy of and just type into the document. And so if we want to write an integer that matches the following descriptions, if I have a debit of 20, 
I know that's going to be taking away money from my bank account, so that's going to be a negative 20. If I have a withdrawal of 15, again, I'm taking money away, so I'm going to be below zero, and I have a negative 15. A credit of 5 tells me that's going to be positive 5. A deposit of 60. Now, this one kind of confuses people. Think about what's happening in the scenario. If you have a deposit of 60, you're taking $60, you're putting it into the bank, right? So your bank transaction is going to be positive because you're adding money. So it's going to be a positive 60. And then just as a review, if I have 200 feet above sea level, that's going to be positive 200. And if I have 200 feet below sea level, that's going to be negative 200. So in part one and part two of our real life examples, we're just trying to give you some background knowledge, some math vocabulary that you're going to see so you can start visualizing the problems and understanding what's happening on your number line. As always, thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate you choosing to spend your time with Instructor Beats. You can check out our negative number song, our other negative number lessons from our playlist. We'd love to have you subscribe, leave a comment below, tell us where you're watching from. Uh, we have a lot of people watching all over the world, and we appreciate you guys. Thank you again. Instructor Beats, out.